We're not going to do these problems, so don't worry. I, I just want to make sure you can identify what they are. These ones might be good ones for you to try for your review. You should be able to identify what each and every one of these shapes are. So let's go right down the list. Can you identify what that is? Circle. Why is it a circle? Okay, what's the radius? Three. 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 Very good. Wow, that, that was impressive. Why not nine? Why aren't we looking here? Well, if you were to divide everything by 81, then take the square root of that, what you get, you're going to get 3, not a radius of 9. So the first thing you got to do with circles, either get rid of those numbers or get rid of that number. Okay, either way, that would work for you. If you factor to 9 and divide it, you get 9 over there too. That would give you a radius of 3. So this is a circle, radius of 3. Uh, what is this shape? Circle, ellipse, hyperbola. Hyperbola. Sure, spread it along the x or the y. Which y. one? Y. Okay. Hyperbola along y. What's this one? Circle, ellipse, hyperbola. What do you think? Ellipse. Definitely an ellipse. Why is ellipse? Numbers are different. Mm -hmm. This one will also be longer along the y. Because when you divide by 25, you have 25 here and 5 here. Longer along the y. How about this last one? What is this? Circle, ellipse, hyperbola? Hyperbola. Is it the hyperbola? Yeah. Along the x or along the y? <laughs> That's our idea. Why? Well, we have our minus. If we were to divide everything by 72, you could find your box. It's going to be spread along the x-axis. Raise your hand if you feel okay with our conic sections. All right. <laughs>